Now that we have an understanding of how to add data to apps that we've installed here in Podio, in this video I'd like to show you how you can filter through that data so you don't have to view all of it at once. Now thus far in the video series we've been working from the sales workspace that we created here in Podio, but I'm actually going to move over to the demo workspace that was automatically created by Podio because there's a bunch of sample data within that workspace that we can use. So I'm going to click on the workspace menu and I'm going to click on demo workspace. Now you'll notice that all of the apps installed in this workspace are listed across the top and I'm actually going to go to the Leads and Clients app because that one looks very similar to the Leads app that we just installed in our sales workspace. You'll notice when I go to that app I have all of my data listed down here below. And just so you know, if you click on one of these data entries, a nice little box will pop up over here to the right that gives you a little bit more of a easy to, to use view when viewing this particular data entry. So I can see the contact details, the sales agent, oh, if there's a website associated. I mentioned earlier that if you enter an address, the map will automatically show up. Well, here it is. And so you could view all of the data associated with an individual record. But we're trying to filter through some of this data. So I'm going to click out of that box for now. And I want you to notice that right now we are viewing all 76 records within this app. We're viewing 76 of 76. Now let's say it's the end of the month and I only want to look at the leads that are considered hot leads because I want to see which ones have the best chance of bringing money into the organization. So I want to filter my view a little bit. I don't want to see leads that are closed or that are cold leads. I only want to see hot leads. So if I mouse over this first icon to the right of how many leads we're viewing, you'll notice that it is the filters icon. And if I click on it, a box pops up that allows me to filter my information. So I can choose the field that I'd like to filter by over here on the left. In this case, it's lead status. And then I can choose which individual records I'd like to see. So I, if I only want to see the hot leads, I can click on the hot lead record. And you'll notice that my screen refreshes if I click outside of this box, I'm now only viewing 40 of the 76 available records. So I cut my view almost in half just by doing one filter. And you'll notice that only the hot leads are now being displayed. Now the great thing about filters here in Podio is that you can filter by multiple things at once. So I'm now viewing all of the hot leads, but you can see that there are multiple sales agents associated with these leads. So let's say I only want to see the hot leads that are associated with Monica Demo. I can go back up to my filters icon and you'll notice that right now we have a number one up there. It's telling us that we've ran one filter with this view and that's why we're not seeing all of the data. So if I click on filters again, I can now go over here to the left and I can choose the sales agent field and I can choose the sales agent that I want to see from the list. Now. There isn't enough room in this box to display everybody associated with this workspace. So if I don't find the person I'm looking for, in this case Megan, I can actually start typing up here. If I start typing her name, you can see Megan Demo comes up. And if I click on her contact record, you'll see that my screen refreshes. It now says that I'm running two filters and I'm only seeing eight of the 76 records. So just by running two quick filters here, we've narrowed our list way down, almost to one-tenth of the original list that we were viewing. So these filters can be very, very useful when you only want to view particular information. Later on in this video series, I'm going to show you how you can sort through your data as well, and then I'm also going to show you how you can save individual views. So by using filters, then sorting to organize the list that you're viewing and then by saving those views we can create basically dashboards that we can quickly view when we come into Podio we can create multiple dashboards depending on the situation uh, so if you're thinking to yourself right now well every time I come into Podio I need to run a bunch of filters to see what I'm looking for that's not necessarily the case because as I mentioned I'm going to show you how you can save these views but once you start getting some data into your apps here in Podio definitely play around with these filters and see how far you can drill down and if you can bring up the information that is most valuable to you.